Hi, my name is Danny. I go by Danny Connor Wild on social media and I am a wildlife photographer based in southwest London. Today I'm going to tell you the story of how four baby red squirrels connected thousands of people to the natural world. During the coronavirus lockdown, most of us were stuck at home, but I was stuck in northern Sweden for over four months and I got to know the local red squirrels. There was one red squirrel I got to know particularly well. I named her Remy after the rat in Ratatouille. She was very confident and very comfortable with all my different photography setups. And unfortunately, one day I found her next to the road and she had been unfortunately hit by a car. I was gutted because not only was she my favorite red squirrel, but she also had a dray of young red squirrel kits somewhere in the forest. The following day I came to the forest. I wanted to try and find these baby red squirrels and it didn't take me long. I found four baby red squirrels in the forest. At first I wasn't sure if they would survive. They were tiny, they were only about six weeks old and at that age they're still reliant on their mother. I started to feed them sunflower seeds and peanuts and to my amazement they had teeth and they were able to eat. And so for the next month, I spent four to six hours a day with these baby red squirrels. And at first they were very nervous of me, but over time they got to know me and they were very comfortable with my presence. I filmed and photographed every aspect of their journey, but there was one piece of content I was really missing. And it was the funny sounds they make when they eat. One day, one of the baby squirrels that I got to know very well, Baby Pear, made a lot of noise whilst he was eating and I was able to record the audio. The following day I posted it on Twitter and I had no idea what would happen next. The video achieved 15 million views. People were stuck at home, deprived from nature and this short video connected thousands of people to nature. I was flooded with kindness, people were drawing baby pear, parents were telling me how their children wanted to go outside and find squirrels and wildlife. The experience was obviously very important in my career as a wildlife photographer, but the main thing I took away from it was how connected people were to these squirrels and to this story. During the coronavirus lockdown, we have been stuck at home. We were seeing the importance of wild spaces and natural spaces in our local areas. And now with lockdown easing and we are allowed to travel more, it would be a shame for this connection to our local wild spaces to disappear. The story of Baby Pear and his siblings connected thousands of people to nature. But with so much wildlife in London, it is so important that we protect our green spaces and continue to be connected to the wildlife in our city.